Oh, what was that? That's a great question, Bob. I believe that was an Aedes aegypti, otherwise known as the yellow fever mosquito. Actually, it's also a frequent host for dengue fever and the dreaded chikungunya virus. Say, I hope you didn't get bitten. What? The, where? Now, who? No, Hugh. Hugh Downs, actually. What are you, some kind of bug expert? No, I'm known as a venerable and extremely affable television host. And I hold the record for appearing on network commercial television more hours than any other person in U.S. TV history. Hmm. And many consider me to be unbelievably sexy. Oh. Yes, Bob, you brought up an excellent question about understanding our changing environment. You're hosting a show on my laptop. No, wait, what about the bug? It's not just bugs, Bob. It's biodiversity, plants, animals, even microbes. And we're facing a critical shortage of information. What do you mean? Names. Names? Yes, names help us understand similarities and differences. They help us inventory the great diversity here on the planet. Why, without enough names, we run into a whole host of problems. Imagine, if you will, a world called Bob. Everyone and everything on planet Bob is called Bob. Here you know everybody's name. Here you'll find no more awkward moments at parties. Bob. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. An idyllic paradise? Hardly. For on planet Bob, there's no way to sort I'd differences. I'd like to speak to Bob. Yes, sir. I'm Bob. No, I'd like to talk to Bob. I'm Bob. Uh, yes, I'm in a right. world where everything is named the same, trying to find just the right thing can be a terrifying proposition. Here on planet Earth, we don't have these problems, thanks to the science of taxonomy. Tax what? Taxonomy, the practice and science of classification, where scientists and researchers name and categorize life on the planet. So what's the problem? The problem is that there is a biodiversity crisis. You see, many species face almost certain extinction. Environments are changing, and we're already facing decisions about our natural resources. Yet these decisions require reliable knowledge of all living things. We need to know what species still exist, what attributes they have, where they are, and how they are related. Unfortunately, taxonomists today are stuck with many of the same tools and methods that Darwin used in the 19th century. Because taxonomy asks planetary scale questions about life on Earth, it requires direct comparisons of thousands of specimens housed in museums in dozens of countries. But taxonomists cannot work efficiently without open access to instrumentation, other colleagues, and especially museum specimens themselves. Hi, Mr. Downs. I'm a huge fan. Isn't he unbelievable? Oh, yeah. No, don't. So, look, what does this have to do with me? Well, taxonomy is only important if you live on this planet. Oh. The fact is that taxonomists have so far only named and categorized about 10% of the species on our planet. For all we know, a species that is a key factor in the food chain might nearly be extinct, and we wouldn't know. Why, that's terrible. Can't we do something? Actually, we can, with cyber taxonomy. Mm, you think they could have come up with a better name? What? Cyber taxonomy uses the internet new types of research tools, and a new spirit of global collaboration to provide researchers with what might be the greatest opportunity to explore and document the history of evolution on our planet. With cyber taxonomy, information can flow freely among scientists and researchers around the world. For example, at Arizona State University, the International Institute for Species Exploration is being created specifically to develop, enhance, and teach cyber taxonomy. By combining internet technology, computer engineering, and a new level of global collaboration. Cyber taxonomy will create a new generation of tools and a collaboration among taxonomists who will make and test the, the content made available through the Encyclopedia of Life and for other portals. Cool. Yes, this data can be shared all over the world for groundbreaking studies on the environment, food production, even the very health of our planet. Sounds great, Hugh. How can we help? 
Well, to find out how you can help, visit the Cyber Taxonomy webpage at www.planetbob.asu.edu. Great, because not knowing the address was really bugging me. Get it? <laughs> bugging? <laughs> like the bug was flying? Don't worry, Hugh. We'll check it out. <laughs>